guys. Hope you guys can see me. But today we are going to uh, take the Leica out for the spin. I haven't used this camera yet, the Leica Q. And so far I'm having a lot of fun with it. I like the colors that they cut, that they put out. We're just gonna drive around um, near Mississauga. That's a city outside of Toronto. Um, this We're gonna go to where the uh, airport is, the Toronto Pearson Airport. And we're gonna uh, find something to shoot for sunset. So stay tuned and enjoy the ride. I hope I'm not being too jerky right now. How's the view up there? I look like an idiot putting this thing on my top of my head. But yep, sit back and enjoy the ride.
Yo, what's good guys? It's uh, me, Tung, and I hope you guys enjoyed that photo vlog today. It was great driving around uh, the airport today trying to see what I could capture with this uh, Leica Q. This was my first time going out with a camera. I would just like to share my thoughts and overall my first impressions of the camera. Now, this is not a review because it's only been a day of use for me anyways but if you guys want to see a full review make sure you to, uh, subscribe so you can be notified when that video comes out so yeah back to boop, 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 boop. so yeah back to my thoughts with this baby this is really fun to use it um, was a little hard because I'm not used to the system yet this is my first time ever getting to use a Leica system like this, going out and creating photos. Usually whenever I hold a Leica, it's because I'm in a Leica store. Uh, but yeah, this baby is all mine. I got a really, really good deal that I couldn't pass, so I jumped on it. I should drink water. So yeah, let's talk about my overall first experience. It's really, really great. I love the image quality coming out of this camera uh something about these photos i don't know what to say it has that look i don't know how to describe it but it's there i can see it but i don't know how to describe it could it be the like a look fixed focal length something i have to get used to i haven't used anything this wide in a while i'm usually shooting at 50 millimeters or higher so zooming in with my feet is something i should practice and sometimes i wish that i could get in a little tighter to frame it better i had to crop in for most of these shots and that's something that i need to get better at is framing my shots at this focal length i also like the fact that this camera makes me slow down my process which is good it helps me focus on my composition i'm really dialed in and i appreciate that the lens this has only been on one day of use but from what i see it's sharp it's beautiful the images that came out from the queue was just stunning it definitely has a vibe to it that's for sure or maybe i'm just so used to shooting a crop censored body i don't have anything full frame besides this queue right here oh so pretty Precious. Some negatives that I need to point out. I'm still trying to get used to how this lens works. I came from a Fuji system and changing the aperture is manual focus ring is supposed to be. So every time I'm changing it, it's never, I'm wondering why it doesn't uh, it click, but that's something that I need to get used to. The menu system in the queue is quite different. But uh, speaking of menu system, this menu system is so simple. I know th where things are it's great not having to go through so many steps like I do with the Fuji. And the reason why I decided to get a Leica Q in 2020. Man, this camera has just been on top of my list ever since it came out. I think it was my dream camera a few years ago, but with how fast technology moves nowadays, it's really hard to have a definitive dream camera. New tech specs comes out every year, making the previous models look old and undesirable. This was it. This was the camera that I wanted the body and the design is really really nice it's gorgeous it's so beautiful man but i couldn't justify paying full retail for this camera back then and i couldn't justify paying for the leica q2 either but now that the leica q2 is out you can get the original q used for a very good deal this camera ain't cheap compared to the other stuff you can get out there but i just wanted to play with this camera for a bit and see if this camera is for me it seems like the leica q could be the gateway drug into the leica system and i'm curious to see if that's the case but so far i'm enjoying it the colors are great the camera is simple to use i love how it feels in my hands and yeah that's all i have to say about it for now but what do you guys think of the shots that i took what's your favorite I think my favorite shot from this set is the stop sign photo. That was just cool how it came out. I was just framing up the stop sign and a flock of birds just flew right into the frame and I got at, got that on camera with the colors and the car in the background. And it makes for what I think is a cool photo at a very mundane, boring location. And yeah, that's it. If you guys like what you saw here, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. It'll sure help me out and uh, let me know your thoughts. But yeah, that's it for me. I'll catch you in the next video. I love you. Okay, bye.